Hey, it's Alyssa, and I'm back after two years, three years. Uh, I'm going to say two years because that feels better than saying three years hiatus from posting anything on YouTube or officially finishing this Animal Crossing series. So if you're new to this channel, you don't know me, or if you don't remember me because I haven't posted in 100 years, which is fair, my name is Alyssa, and I'm an illustrator. And I used to post YouTube videos sometimes about cartoon mascots, and mostly about art and drawing, and especially my series that took me two years, uh, which was finishing drawing all 480 Animal Crossing villagers across the entire series. Uh, and then it took another two years to finish these last eight because uh, right around the time I finished the series, I think it was like a month or two later, not that much later, New Horizons dropped an update with the eight, I'm calling them new villagers, the eight new villagers. They're not new anymore, but they were new to the series, villagers. They dropped the eight new villagers. And at the time, uh, I was going through the end of a relationship and planning to move back home, which I did, move back to Michigan and then move to Chicago on my own. So there was a lot going on. And I had new freelance work in that time and just lots to focus on that had nothing to do with YouTube. And so YouTube took the ultimate back burner. It was just the last thing on my mind. YouTube or anything social media really was just not my focus. I was focusing on myself and getting myself on two feet and uh, getting my business growing and whatever and meeting new people. And I did. I met some awesome new friends here and have an amazing boyfriend and live in a cute little apartment together with him and his cat. And life's good. So now that I'm comfortable and I think I know what I'm doing and I'm more confident in my art than I've been in a while, I've been trying out new styles. The style you'll see today is the newer style I'm trying, this like mindless style that's similar to what I did with Old Animal Crossing, uh, but a little different. Anyway, what was I saying? This is going to be a very rambly video, which is something I want to talk about in a minute also. Uh, very rambly video. So if you're not on board with r long rambles, this might not be the one for you. Uh, but long story short, I started the, the, the drawings of the eight villagers around that time and then just didn't have the heart to finish them. Just didn't have it in me, didn't have motivation to uh, focus on anything related to YouTube or social media. So I just didn't. It just didn't like I'd post on Twitter every once in a blue moon with a new piece or something. Uh, it actually made me laugh that, uh, the, one of the only things I posted this year was like, new year, new self-portrait. And then I just didn't drop anything for like seven months after. That was like in January. So here I want to talk about, so I want to talk about the process a little bit. This is at 1200% because if it was any faster or if it was any slower, it would be like a 45 minute to an hour long video, which I don't know if I can talk for 45 minutes in one sitting about nothing. Uh, maybe I could. Maybe I have that in me. But so this process here, I skipped the whole chapter because I was trying out a few different styles and just gave up on it. The time between the first video of the sketch process and this video is like four months elapsed where I just didn't know what style to do. Uh, in that time, I tried this grayscale that you're seeing underneath this painting, this whole painting I did underneath in just, in just grayscale value painting. I was trying that out because I tried that out for a piece I did of Elephant Mario um, but I, I like just doing the shapes and then adding the color. I just think it's more fun to do. So I kind of gave up on it and then was like, I'm going to go back in and do that lineless, chunky blocks of color style that I want to do. It's a nice nod to how I did the original Animal Crossing series, but I think it's a lot better because it's all done in Procreate with this dry ink brush, which is the brush I'm using here. And for most of the piece, honestly, it's a default Procreate brush under inking. It's an awesome brush. There's a helicopter going over. I co hope you can't hear it because I don't want to re-record this again. <laughs> the cat keeps getting the zoomies and making lots of noise and then a helicopter goes over and I'm just, I'm just letting this tape go through. So I use the dry ink brush for most of this to make the shapes similar to how I made the shapes in Animate when I did the original series. Um, I just think I'm better at doing art now than I was two years ago. And so I wanted this piece to really reflect that. Um, why did, uh, frequently asked questions asked by absolutely nobody, but questions I'm, antis I'm anticipating getting, uh, as always, what brushes do you use? Which is, this is the dry ink, and then I color with the Jing Sketch round render brush, which I'll put a affiliate link in the description below if I remember, and the Bonobo chalk brush, which was a default Procreate brush. I don't think it is anymore, but you can find it for free online to download. Bonobo chalk, 
uh, for that grainy gritty texture and then nico roll for any like big swatch of textured paint that's under painting it's a default procreate brush i believe still in the new version so those are the brushes i use other frequently asked question that nobody asked um is what happened to the pokemon series <laughs> So that's kind of a funny story. That was all the all 151 Pokemon sketches and all the other uh, Animal Crossing NPCs I never finished drawing. Those were all on an iPad that got destroyed. Well, it, it got like the screen got destroyed. And so I took it in and I was like, oh, they can just replace the screen like they can on my iPhone, right? I'm a big Apple fan, but I didn't know that like they don't do screen replacements. You have to take that to like some weird third party place. But it was just a messed up iPad from that point on anyway. So I was like... Do, do I want to... Man so how they, they did it in the store is I had to get two recent files for a client off of there because it took me like 15 hours to paint both of those things for a client. I didn't want to redo it because um, the iPad, the brains of it still worked, but the screen was smashed. And so we went in with like a, a, a mouse they hooked up to it wirelessly and like a Bluetooth mouse. And then we went and dragged and dropped the files onto their computer and emailed them to myself or whatever. We did this whole thing. So I got just those important files and then I was like, I just, I kind of want to turn over a new leaf. Like I haven't been prioritizing this stuff anyway. Maybe it's better to have just a fresh start. And so I just turned that into their recycling program. I didn't even want to bother. It was such an old iPad. I didn't want to get the whatever money it would be worth, $10 trade in somewhere. I didn't care. Smash screen. Um, so I just recycled the iPad with all the Pokemon on it, with everything on it. It's just gone um got a new ipad well, a refurbished version of kind of the one i had already because it was cheaper um so i'm using that now and that's where all this stuff is stored um, luckily i still have like the high quality pdf backups of all 480 villagers saved on like the cloud and on my computer and on a hard drive i have all that backed up but all the like 151 pokemon and all that stuff is gone um, I might redo them in the future, but I'm not going to make a promise on that. I don't want to commit to any like big series again for a long time because <laughs> it's just you feel like a failure if you don't finish it. I just don't want to put myself through that uh, or have people waiting for it or whatever. And that was part of the reason I didn't come back for a, like I've been ready to come back to social media posting and stuff for a minute, but I didn't want to come back without this being my first YouTube video back is just officially finally finishing this Animal Crossing series once and for all. Um, uh, I didn't want to post any other videos before it. It just felt wrong to not finish the thing that was the reason most people followed me in the first place. And another big reason I wanted to come back at all, because I could have just stayed off social media and just mind my business and keep my freelance going or whatever. Um, but I I miss the, the really sweet comments I would get. I miss the feedback. And... I've, I've hidden a few videos I've done on my channel just because I thought they were especially like cringy or not good or whatever. Um, I just hid a few that I didn't like anymore. Um, I'll leave the rest up, I think. But the ones I'll never get rid of are the ones I did of commissions of people's pets in Animal Crossing style. I'll never get rid of those because I got one comment and I cannot remember who left the comment. I'm sorry if you're watching. Uh, leave another comment and I'll shout you out in the I'll pin your comment or something. Um, somebody had commented that the commission I did of, I think there are two or three pets. One of the pets that I had drawn uh, had passed away and that they had been revisiting the video as like a warm and fond memory they have. Um, receiving that drawing and like watching that video and like how it reminded them of their sweet pet. And so I'll never get rid of those videos ever. And um, I hope to do more videos like that where like, I'm drawing something that's personal to someone and then they get the keepsake of the artwork and also of the video and then they can revisit that and, you know, relive um, that exciting time in their life. I think that was really sweet. I thought that was a really sweet comment. And it's comments like those and also the ones I used to get where people would like, um, they'd post a comment like, you really inspired me to draw or whatever and they'd tag me on Instagram or Twitter or whatever with like a sketch they had done or a finished piece they had done like inspired by my style or drawing Animal Crossing villagers in their own style and that was always really nice to me because it's like uh, when I used to play Neopets a lot as a kid <laughs> um, and I still do as an adult well I play Grundo's Cafe which is the much better fan made retro Neopets site shout out to Grundo's Cafe um, but when I was a kid I would really look up to the people who would do the beauty contests which is you submit art of your pet for people to vote on so they get trophies and stuff 
and I was so in awe of them and I was so in awe of the the ones who would reply when you'd like neo mail them and tell them how good their art was and they'd say like oh that's great like they would inspire me to draw and I'd send neo mail to people saying how much their art inspired me to draw um, my MS paint beauty contest entries Um, and so it's really cool to like continue that chain of like inspiring people younger than me to draw the same way those like neopets it's very heartwarming to me um so i want to i want to keep making stuff that inspires people to draw i i'm learning a lot myself i'm learning a lot of my shortcomings and like fundamental art stuff i never learned either through like college or whatever stuff i just missed that i'm trying to learn again now i'm trying to learn a lot more about lighting and color especially um limited color palettes and what stuff I'm trying out and so I want to learn and post what I'm learning with you guys or anybody who's listening in the future and hopefully you can learn along with me and share more stuff that like you were inspired to do because of something you watched because I really love that Uh, that's that's one of the big like motivations for me to even finish this I woke up not even thinking I was gonna do this today but I finished I finished this piece last night and I was like I've been putting I've been going through all these excuses of why not to make YouTube videos ever again. It's like, well, maybe I'll do it when I'm done with the Animal Crossing piece. Well, the Animal Crossing piece is done. It's like, well, I'll do it if I can find my microphone. Found my microphone. It wasn't that hard to find. Uh, oh, well, I need I need a hard, external hard drive. I found... Th- here's the, the, the reason I'm making the video, really, is I was like, if I find the hard drive that has the, the old intro on it and whatever, all the other files on it, and I did. I didn't think it, I looked in a drawer and I was like, I thought I thought for sure the hard drive I'm using right now was one that I had like music and junk and stuff on that wasn't my YouTube one. I was 100 percent certain. So I've just had that rotting in a, a drawer forever. Not thinking I thought I had lost the YouTube one in the move. I thought it was just gone. I plugged this one in. Sure enough, the little the intro, the extended intro, the short one I'm using for this video, all that stuff, that original stuff on it. So I'm like, well, that's my sign. I just have to record the video and put it out. <laughs> and I over like, is it good? Am I rambling too much? Who cares? People who like it, like it. And people who don't, don't. Um, I'm just going to make the art I want to make and talk about it or talk about how my day is going and put it out there on the internet and see what people get out of it. And maybe I'll learn what people like and don't like over time and adjust it. Or maybe I'll just do whatever I feel like and... Uh, kind of let that fly because I'm not really I, I don't want to make YouTube my like my my job like it was so stressful when I was doing it for fun but had more time in the day because it was the pandemic and whatever it was still stressful then like like unnecessarily stressful it, who was putting pressure on me nobody was doing that to me but me um, like I could go back to doing scripted YouTube videos and all that fun stuff but I just don't want to I want to draw cute art that makes me happy. I want to get better at art. I want to improve my skill set. I want to learn. I want to grow. I want to share that with people who are interested in my art style. I want to share that with people who are interested in whatever video game I'm into at the moment or show or whatever and want to see fan art of it. I want to find my people. And, you know, if that's five people, that's awesome. And if it's more than five people, cool. Uh, But my main job is doing work for clients and making art that I love uh and I don't want to make I don't want to make making videos get in the way of or put pressure on me uh, or I don't know be a roadblock to being creative every single day in in a way that isn't for clients that's been my biggest hurdle is I just focus so much on like well I need to pay the bills but it's like I'm I'm comfortable enough now that like I can take on these personal projects and just kind of add them to the fun things that I do during the day instead of only doing client work and then just immediately going to play uh, games or whatever. And I am so sorry this is so sped up, like the footage, but I am so grateful that I sped it up to 1200% because I'm only halfway through this video and I feel like I've run out of things to talk about. But not really. Let me see. I have, I have, I could talk, I have this list. Oh, I should talk about the actual villagers I'm drawing and my thoughts on them, I suppose, while they're on screen. And this is, you know, the big finale of drawing every single villager. Uh, The only villager of these eight that I knew 
the name of without having to Google it. Like before I started making this video, I literally have a page open right now with the names of all the villagers because I do not remember them. That so uh, that you know, if that lets you know what I th I don't have any of them in my game except for uh, Cephalobot, who I love. Um, I don't have anything against the new villagers. I just, I'm not familiar with them. I didn't spend a lot of time talking about them and drawing them in my series. I haven't had them in my game, so I don't know much about them. I did love drawing all of them, though. Let's see. Who's my least favorite just design uh, alone? Let me see the list. Sasha, I love. I own, I love. Chan Shang, I love. I think that's my favorite one. I'm sorry if I'm butchering his name, but Chan Shang, the monkey. Love drawing him. I think he turned out the best in the whole picture, actually, if I'm being honest. Um, Shino, Marlo, Petrie, Cephalobot, Quinn. I guess Quinn, because Quinn just looks like every other eagle. Like I feel like Quinn doesn't stand out in the lineup of the new villagers. I don't think Quinn looks like a new villager the way the other ones have like a little a little extra shine or detail on them, especially uh, Ione. That's the squirrel, right? I literally have a page where I think, yes, Ione is the squirrel. Uh, she is beautiful. She's the moment. I think she's my favorite design wise besides Cephalobot, who's just perfect because it's a robot octopus. I mean, how much cuter does it get? Um, I own, I think is my favorite because I think it's just so it's such like a fan made character thing. I think to have a character whose tail has a, like a galaxy like stars on it. It's like an Animal Crossing OC. And I love that. I think that's what I like about these new ones is some of them feel kind of like a uh, fan wish fulfillment or something. Uh, they look like fan made characters. Maybe that's why Quinn doesn't stand out as much. Just looks like every other one. And then this page, I'd like to correct this page um, that I pulled up where it says all 16 new villagers in animal crossing. They're fake fans because the other eight that they cite um, are old villagers from like the original GameCube or 64 or whatever that were re-released now that haven't been in the series for a hot minute but they're not technically new so <laughs> if anybody is still watching this um that that is like what about the other eight they're not new i already drew them they just had different names like i'm looking chabwick zoe ace rio i think ace was the first one i ever drew, it, alphabetically i think if you go to my 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 twitter where i have the thread of all 480 villagers that's literally the first one is ace um the bird villager yeah listed as one of the new ones no he's not new fake fans oh i'm i'm an idiot because if i actually scrolled to read it says this villager returns from the original animal crossing game released on nintendo gamecube okay yeah they mentioned that okay fine 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 i'm the idiot here i should not have gotten upset with these they're real fans they even specify like fret this villager returns from the Japanese-only Animal Forest E-plus game released on Nintendo GameCube where he was formerly known uh, by English fans as Champagne. I think that's the name I use. That, that was another challenge, actually, now that I think about it, when doing the Animal Crossing series, the villager series, is what, what name do I use? Because some had two or like three names that they were referred to as in older versions of the game or the Japanese version or whatever. I think I just went with the one that I like the best sometimes. Um, I think I liked Champagne better than, I don't know if, I don't know if he was called Fret until this re-release. I'm not certain on that. See, I'm the fake fan. I don't know these things without looking them up. I'm, who am I to call anyone a fake fan? I literally had to Google the names of these villagers that I've been drawing for like days now. I didn't know any of their names except Cephalobot. Maybe Sasha, I could have picked them, but I didn't know any, I, I know them now looking at them. Petrie. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, Quinn the least impressive design-wise to me because it's just another eagle. Everybody else is pretty cute. I don't really have any complaints. I love Petrie. I think Petrie is the one that I would pick to have in my game if I could just pick one that, you know, wasn't Cephalobot because I would always pick Cephalobot if I only had to pick one. But Petrie, I think, would be number two. Very cute villager. I think a male villager, right? I'm not sure. A couple of these, like Sasha's a boy who has the cute little eyelashes. I'm not sure. I think Petrie's a boy also. Am I wrong about that? Let me click this. And now everything's running so slow because I'm recording and have the video playing at the same time. It's a girl. Ah, oh, Petrie. She is adorable. And I would love to have her in my game that I have not touched also in two years. 
um that would be a fun video to do maybe if i could, i don't have a capture card never mind but <laughs> maybe an island tour after like the the new pacifica what's fun about my animal crossing game is that i'm sentimentally attached to it and will not level will not restart it i will just level it and rebuild it so i haven't talked about the process in a long uh stretch of this video and i apologize for that but it's kind of self-explanatory i make solid shapes using the dry ink brush on a few different layers i love that the color key i made at the beginning for myself i ended up not really using like i kind of did and then kind of veered off of it because i needed more layers than what i thought I was trying to minimize the number of layers because I wanted to do uh, overlays of like chalk texture like I'm doing here for the coloring and uh, color adjustment layers and whatnot, which I do at the very end after I flatten everything on a, on a duplicated document. Um, here I'm going in and I, I'm reminding myself I want to keep it simple. I had been really admiring lineless kids book illustration style art I'd been seeing on Twitter a lot. And I noticed a lot of them don't do a lot with the shadows and highlights. It's usually just a flat plane of color and then maybe a gradient of a lighter to a darker tone or maybe a little uh, rim lighting just where you need it to visually separate one thing from another. But they don't really go overboard with the shading and highlights. And I felt like I was getting too, too caught up in worrying about shadows and shadow placement uh, with Quinn here so I ended up like removing some of this detail I think as I went along and just kind of I was like telling myself on her time keep it simple keep it simple keep it clean keep it simple I think I get caught up in my own head of like oh is this technically correct does it also look good but is it correct and it's like you know you can just keep it simple and keep the whole style of the whole image simple and intentional and then it doesn't really matter if the shadow placement it technically logically makes sense because it's first of all it's already a stylized cartoon it already logically like their bones would probably be bo broken in a few places if they actually like looked like this if they were real um they're already exaggerated cartoons like it really doesn't matter that much i'm trying to get it get out of my head uh when it comes to shading and lighting and stuff while also trying to actually learn how it really works um when i do practice stuff um, for myself or watch videos and tutorials and that kind of thing uh, you want to know the rules before you break them and all that kind of stuff but you also shouldn't fret too much about uh, having realistically depicted shading and highlights on a highly stylized cartoon piece maybe don't worry about that maybe worry about making it making a compelling uh, appealing character first which i think i did i think i still stand by my statement that i think chan shang the monkey is the strongest he's like the heart of the whole piece i think i love drawing the monkeys and i remember loving drawing the monkeys whenever i had to draw a monkey character for the villager series i love the monkeys because i love the long limbs and i feel like you can really get exaggerated and have a great time pushing and pulling those arms and legs and kind of making them noodly and do whatever you want they're really fun to draw. I had less fun drawing, I think, Sasha, because for some reason I was having difficulty with the little bunny hands. They they still don't look quite right to me. I feel like I could have still done something else with them to make them more cutesy or exaggerated or maybe make the paws smaller. Or I don't know. I'm done, I'm done editing the piece. That's another thing I'm trying to teach myself is just finish something and move on instead of like itching to fix stuff a hundred times before you post it. Just look at it and go, yeah, that looks pretty good, and post it and move on to the next piece. Move on. Um, that was hard because I posted, I think yesterday I posted Gex for my daily drawing, and I really wanted to edit it after I had posted it, and I was just like, nope, just let it go. Just let it go. Maybe draw Gex again in the future and learn from this, but don't worry about this particular Gex. Here I'm going and adding just the final touches. Um, I wasn't sure what style star I wanted to do, but I've been doing these like, why do I get so like nitpicky about how it looks? Oh, I'm just copying and pasting it. I thought I was redoing it for a third or fourth time. I'm like, why? Just, just let it, let, let it be imperfect and cute. Um, I wanted to do this like dry ink style, but then I also added the little pop of highlight. I'm glad I toned that down. I was like, that's a little harsh, a little pop of highlight, uh, to the stars to make them glowy but i didn't know how if i wanted to do five point stars or just little dots because in the official art it just kind of looks like dots but i like that i i kept to the same sparkle shape as i did in sasha's eyes i think that's a nice little touch and then here i'm just doing some color adjustment on petrie who i think is getting way too lost in the 
white background. So I add some yellow to the feet and just to make her stand out against the background a little bit better. I think this worked okay. I wasn't sure what to do about her, but I knew I had to do something to make her pop out from the white just a little bit without her looking like a yellow mouse instead of a white mouse. I think it works okay. And doing a little bit of the same here on Shino and some of the other characters. Marlo, who just needed a little bit of adjustment to his pants to make them a little bit darker. And overall, I do think I'm really happy with this piece. I do worry about the values if some things are getting lost in other things. That's something I'm trying to figure out because that's something that's a fundamental I don't quite have nailed down yet, which I thought the gray scale to color was going to help me with, but it kind of just made it more uh, difficult for me to wrap my mind around like what colors would be right. So I hope this looks okay. I like quizzed my boyfriend. I like held it across the room. I'm like, can you still kind of make out the characters? He's like, yeah, they, they look good, but he's not. He doesn't know any better. He's not going to say otherwise, you know. Um, but I think this is a pretty successful piece. I'm happy with it. I think it's a huge improvement over what I did with the original 480 character series. And maybe I will finish just a series of just the Animal Crossing NPCs, the non-villagers. I would like to maybe, I'm not going to commit to it, I would like to maybe revisit all of them in this style and do it all in Procreate. And have a whole series of them as prints. I think that would be really cool. If I do make this as a print, I'll post it in the description. I'm not sure what site or service or whatever to use these days. Because I know like Society6 and Redbubble like majorly gave artists the middle finger and like take a huge cut now or something I'd read. So I don't know what a good service for selling like print on demand prints is. So if you guys know and are still listening, uh, let me know in the comments. Um, but anyway, I would like to do a series of all the like Tom Nook and Isabel and like draw them and everybody else, all the shopkeepers and everything in this style and see how much I've grown from that old series to this new series. And that's another thing I'd like to do if I, I can't remember what I've talked about in this ramble or the old one that I deleted because the cat started zooming and making noise. Um, but I would like to do a series where I redo my portfolio pieces to show how much I've grown. Thank God we're getting to the end of this video because I am starting to lose my voice majorly. That is something I need to train if I'm going to do more of these long uh, rambling types of videos. If you like this video, give it a like. If you would like to see more fan art from me, let me know your suggestions in the comments below. Or just tell me how you've been doing the last couple of years since I've seen you if you're uh, a returning subscriber or new. To you know what? If you're new to this channel, just tell me how you've been the last couple of years. Why not? I'd love to read it in the comments below. Thank you so much for spending some of your time with me again after all these years or if you're new here and a weirdo who sat through like a half hour long video. Um, thank you so much for your time and I hope to see you again sooner than uh, two years from now. Peace.